for yo episode seventy two of the Gemini Scorpio podcast. And we are okay. Taylor Bay. We got my girls in the building. We are Woo-hoo. back. Paris to Tokyo. You already know. <laughs> yes. The Diamond LaShawn. I think I um didn't tell y'all it was two E's in my name last time. So if y'all was looking for me, just in case. <laughs> Jay pull definitely up, corrected pull that. Pull up on a kid. Pull up on a kid because yes. I'm here. <laughs> it's <lit>. Yes. <laughs> it's your girl, of course, BG. BG with the T. Your favorite plus size influencer. Yes. It's in the building. Yes. Okay. My is here. And I just want to say I'm so excited Listen. that we are the new lady group. <laughs> it's official. It's official. It's, it's official. definitely official. Um, how was your week? Like, was it given? I feel like the I week know was we given. Just it was like recorded all week. like last week, but it's been a whole week. Yeah, yeah. It, it has, it and it feels like it went. Week. It went by so quick because I was off. I was it on flew, leave, right? And I went to work one day, and then we have Fridays off for the summer. So I was just like, mm. <laughs> okay, I'm back to being <laughs> off again. So right. literally, I just was super productive with like my own influencer yeah. things during the, the weekend yeah. and I, yeah. that's what that's I did good. and it I flew by so quick it week. flew um I feel like I was kind of like on my influencer tip too mm-hmm. you guys don't know I have a YouTube channel same name you guys can follow me there but I feel like I got some filming in finally mm-hmm. yeah I feel like I'm finally coming up from the 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 post-surgery yeah. haze uh-huh. you're just not yeah. feeling yourself I finally got my nails and I look and like they look something. good are you guys proud of me yes you look <laughs> great I put a wig uh-huh. on today <laughs> and you look great uh-huh. you look so, good I'm, yes, I'm, thank you, you do this. you do you look, so good. look good just finally trying to feel like myself yeah, yeah. I'm feeling better I feel like Looking I'm good. Feeling getting good. back into the my saddle of things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what about you, Curse? I procrastinated all the week. <laughs> okay. And that's okay. All fucking week. Okay. All that's fucking fine. week. Yeah. I ain't washed no clothes, no dishes, no nothing. Like yeah. I okay. took care of my kids, though. I that's took okay. care of my <laughs> man, though. <laughs> Black women are valuable even when we are not producing. producing. Okay. So that's yes. okay. I didn't do a damn thing. But yeah. um, we love that I am you. definitely inspired to film my TikTok. Mm-hmm. This one came over yesterday and was like, itch. You don't get the fuck Y'all, on. Like, yes. Honestly, hold on. TikTok so I went thing. over to Paris' yeah. house yesterday. I haven't been over there in a little bit. She turned the house into this oasis <laughs> Okay. plants. It's such a vibe. Can I come and, sleep on your couch? Okay. Listen, and then <laughs> I had to do it. Come do it. Then I had to ner- Her organization skills Virgos are Virgos are top notch uh, with that. Uh, uh, yo, I could not believe. I, I, this I is the first time I went into mm. her room since she's redone it. I went back there. I was mind blown now. Like, honestly, <laughs> I was acting crazy. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, what the fuck is her closet. Going? I said, Paris, can I pay you to oh, do this closet to my closet? I mean, the, <laughs> the color coordination from the shelves to the I like what's my over news here with my to squeeze it. Black, black. Yo, I told okay. Paris, I said, if I do not see some motherfucking footage and content from you from doing this shit, we're going to have a problem because she's actually, that good. Yeah, show she's well, that actually, good. You can come have, into my closet and then I'll do the behind the scenes of the recording. She's that, so that we, we you on can, it. We you know, on they it. Go, so we can be a closet organizer. Yeah. I love to organize. Organize everything. That good. Like, I mean, every room, every corner looks like some vloggable moment. And that's like, Aesthetically, so pleasing I love to that me. For you. And because I, I love it. I've been working on mine and it's not giving that just yet. No, my either. mama and you managed to do all of that. <laughs> oh. It took me a while. It did. It took me Y'all, a long it time, but so it, good. it's come together. I faced Hunter this morning and was like, I'm coming back over. <laughs> and I even told her, man, I'm I said, you're going to have to leave. I want to have a sleep over here. Exactly. <laughs> Matter of fact, he is out. going to a cookout. Let's, let's go okay. ahead and do that. I know that's <laughs> right. So yes. my week has actually been, it's been good because, um, you know, um, I'm, I haven't told, you know, the viewers, but, you know, I had opened up my spa. Yes. Um, yes. yes. And I've Luxury, been. Yes. Luxury yes. spa facials with a meditative twist and this week what I liked specifically because a lot of times I get a lot of facials but mm-hmm. it was all meditation this week it's all one on one guided meditation and I love it so much because um, specifically yesterday um, well one I love it because people are booking it but it's always a mental note for me okay now I get to meditate yeah. so yes. I always say I actually heal through my clients because it gives me that second like I might have worked all day mm-hmm. but now I look I got a client this evening for a one-on-one guided meditation, it's like, bad. I get to get some grounding. Yeah, yes. exactly. So I loved it. Specifically yesterday, um, you know, one of the girls who booked the one-on-one meditation with me last month booked another one. And her sister was in town. And she asked, can she book two? But can she do? Can I do it with them together? Oh. And mm. um, so I was like, yeah, absolutely. So we do this session. And, you know, sometimes, like, I really have to tap into God and say thank you just for purpose. Because mm. sometimes you don't mm. really realize what you do for people yes. until in the moment. The last yeah. time I, you know, had this one-on-one meditation with, you know, 
the first girl, mm -hmm. um, you know, so impactful. It was a lot of tears shed. And, you know, I remember talking about it and somebody was like, well, why was she crying? And I said, because a lot of people don't have a moment to really release. Mm -hmm. And when they're very intentional mm -hmm. about releasing, it finally just comes all out. It's yeah. like, because I've been avoiding it for so Absolutely. long. So yeah. when you actually take a second to intentionally say, okay, I'm going to sure. sit down mm -hmm. and really deal with whatever I got going on. Sometimes mm -hmm. it hits you like yeah. a brick. Yeah. Yeah. And we to be that. able to get people to sit down and do that is so, it means so much to me. She brought her sister back with her this time. And, you know, a lot of times, like when we're doing stuff, like, I will me per specifically, I'll say sometimes I forget to ask God to guide it specifically mm -hmm. when I'm doing meditation, though. I always ask God to guide me Absolutely. because mm -hmm. I don't know what they're going through specifically, but yeah. I want God to deliver whatever message or through whatever yes. they need to gain through mm -hmm. me to help them. Girl, it was the most impactful. Like me and her sister hugged for like 15 minutes after Aww. she just that cried in so my touching. arm yeah. and I cried with her. And she just kept saying, thank you. I needed that. She was like, wow. And even her sister was like, yo, it's it's crazy. She was like, because I brought her. It was so different than my session by myself, but I needed everything again, like the yeah, last time. Absolutely. Yeah. And I left there and I broke down in tears. I was just like, God, thank you. You know what? That's so important. Purpose, like, thank baby. You. That is yeah. so like, And it's also very, yeah. very um, refreshing to actually realize I'm where I'm supposed to yes, be. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's so refreshing. Yeah, it's, it's so crazy I because that. we always look for affirmation or confirmation. Yes, like, yeah. am I yes. supposed to be am here? I, am yeah. I doing the right thing? thing? And, and then right there, it hits you in the moment. But there you go. But there you go. But there you go. And that's where I was like, you know, even when I ventured out on doing my business, I didn't want to do anything that didn't align with what I want or what mm -hmm. God wants for me. Absolutely. So I was very specific on what I was doing. Excuse me. <laughs> and, um, you know, when it unfolds that way, uh -huh. I feel so good. Yeah. Yes. It's like, God, like, I don't know where you're leading this, but I know I feel right where I'm supposed you to be right so now. You feel so good. Don't you I love yeah. that feeling? I love it. I love it. it. I, when we were... So when end we, of the week with the bang. I love that. <laughs> I love Boom. that. When we watched yeah. back the video, um, you know, when I watched back the video from our last episode, and it just felt so good. I'm just like, mm -hmm. okay, God, I see you. Yeah. I see what you're yes. doing. Because, yes. you know, you... Speak through me. Like, you speak... And I, and I do yeah. that because sometimes on my Instagram, I do, like, these um these messages, yes. right? I do very motivational messages. Sometimes they happen on Sunday and Monday, but it's literally... Sometimes I'm in the shower we're having it's always in the shower yeah. like I always talk to God while I'm in the yeah, shower yeah, yeah. but you know Very I'm in the time. shower and I'm always like just talking to God and as I'm talking to him about yeah. my things my, my needs and my wants right that's when my messages hit me I'd be like yeah no yeah. you didn't yeah. No, right. you didn't. And, and anytime through. I, anytime I do an event, anytime yeah. I, I go somewhere mm -hmm. and and speak somewhere, I just always say, you know what, God, God whatever the me. message is, allow it. You Work know, it if, out. If, up if in the here. message is for me. And, and and somebody else can use it. Just just thank you for using me as yes. the vessel yes. to right. deliver I the message. It. And my mindset is always, even if it's just one, even just if one. it's just one. 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 I, 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 you know why? I know it's. I know. I that know my one, job is done. That one teaches one. That teaches oh, five. And it's travel. Yep. That teaches thirty. It, it each one teach one, and I love that. Yep. And so let's much. also normalize recognizing legacy, not just in the things that you leave behind mm -hmm. that are materialistic, yes. or tangible, yes. Yes. but the things, just the, the ideas that you leave behind. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Let's let's also normalize that because yes. some people are like, I want to leave a legacy. Well, say something nice. Do something nice. Yeah. Do something yeah. impactful. Yeah. Yes. People you know, always think that legacy is built in children. Ideas. Yeah. Don't just leave cars, money, bank accounts, right. trust. Leave something that's going yes. to stimulate somebody's Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. Something tangible that they can I love yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I love, I love that we're just really in tune spiritually yeah. and we're yeah. able to talk about yeah. these things. Yeah. And, and I just thank God because so many people in the like they're scared I'm to millennial, say millennial, it. they're so afraid of saying, you know what, no. just thank you, God, or yeah. just or the fact that being they can, in touch you can't with spirit. be a bad bitch and I love God too. Oh, you can. I'm very. It's giving very multifaceted on this. Very multifaceted, okay? Because I'm a twerk and I'm a prey. Period. I'm going to eat a chicken wing and I'm going to eat a salad. I'm a boss and I'm a boss. Okay, what's it's up? about balance. Okay. It is about the balance. Okay. <laughs> balance. Period. Balance. <laughs> All right. Oh, go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. We getting ready to jump into it. Right? We got to. Um, so you know, I've been looking into a topic that I've seen continuously cross. Um, and it's about pretty girl privilege. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what that actually is, what it means, and has it been a pro or a con for us? Mm -hmm. um, you Ooh. know, highlighting Ooh. Saweetie specifically, because mm -hmm. she's one of the ones I also seen speak up on it. But she actually spoke about how it worked against her. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, of course, we all love our good sis, Sweetie. You know, love, she's a yeah, beautiful girl, mm -hmm. um, very stylish, aesthetically pleasing, content on fire. 
And even like old sweetie, I seen girls. She was, uh, I guess, a major red girl uh-huh. in college, and her mm. dance girl could dance. She her could daddy her real thing. fine, okay. Her daddy, daddy super fine, <laughs> okay. Shout out to sweetie daddy, <laughs> <All> right? <laughs> hey Zed, hey Zed, <laughs> hey, Zed you a sweetie? <laughs> uh, sweetie, move around, it's like. Oh. <laughs> It's giving you want a little sister. No, I'm just playing. I'm really just. Do you want to be your step mama? Do you want? I'm a- being violent. Hey. Don't send this to nobody. Uh-huh. Do you want a brother? Say, like, um, uh, not me. Like, <laughs> not not me. I want somebody on them. <laughs> one of my good girlfriends is asking. I mean, I think I'm the single one of the group right here. I know, right, right. I'm the single one of the group. You well, know, so you yes. know. Okay. the only. I was gonna actually. Before we continue, I was going to say, you know, I know we've all disclosed our status. You know, I had to ask Brittany because, you know, the men think you fine. I don't know if you've seen the comment on Twitter was like, whoever this fine ass woman is speaking right here, speaking that shit right here. I said, nah. I said, that shooting a shot. Listen, what is it giving? So I'm single. I'm very much single, you know, and I am looking to, you know, get into the dating space. Mingle. You know, Uh, I'm I'm single, you know, childless and, you know, just really looking to dive into some dating. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm not looking for no loser. Okay. You. I don't want no losers. I'm I'm not interested in that. No um, but who can't get, get no love from me? Hey, oh, hey. the passenger. Hey. 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 Hey.
they were affirmed in different ways from their parents or their guardians or whatever else was going on in their lives. Right. But for me, I never really looked at being cute because I was always the tallest. Mm. I was always the skinniest and I was always the smartest. I was like your La Cienega of the group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I didn't look at myself like, oh, you're gorgeous. Because yeah. everybody in my family, they had hips. They were rounded out. Mm -hmm. And growing up, I didn't look like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't focus on being cute. I just focused on being smart because right. I knew I had that shit in the bag. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. But when you become older and you see how other people are responding to you, you're like, wait, well, I'm in a right yeah, what's place? Happening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it was until I got to college. Shout out to Morgan State. I don't think it was until I got to college where I realized how people perceived me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I realized that pretty privilege was a thing. Yeah. Because people would respond to me in a way where it was kind of like, oh, make sure she's coming or make sure she's there or um, it's free for you or, or your friends can come mm -hmm. or it's your birthday, I'm going to put you on a flyer. They Ooh. were giving me yeah. uh, things that everybody wanted to have. Who right. doesn't want to be celebrated? But it was kind of like, but why me? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where's this mm -hmm. coming like, from? Like, what make me special? I just yeah. met y'all just like everybody else in, right. in, my, in my freshman class. Yeah. Like, why are you guys being so nice to me? And you realize that it's because they think you're attractive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what people don't understand is that while people might think you're attractive, the things that they extend to you or the privilege that you receive comes with something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It comes. It's it. not just, oh, Ooh, you get go. privilege. Yes, I get privilege. But you know what? Because of that privilege, people don't like me because yeah. they see I'm getting privilege. Mm -hmm. And I'm not asking for it, but they don't like me because yeah, I'm getting they that. feel like it's an unfair advantage. Yeah. yeah. I didn't make myself look like this. Yeah. I don't even think I'm cute half the time. Yeah. You mm -hmm. guys don't know what I'm battling on the inside, but because somebody else thinks I'm cute and another person thinks I'm cute, now mm -hmm. you don't like me mm -hmm. because you feel like they don't think you're Absolutely. cute. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with me, though? Right. Yeah. You, so you, you actually inherit a lot of problems. There's pretty girl burden, too. Yes. yes. And people don't think like, oh, yeah, you're complaining about something, but I would rather be pretty. It's like, no. Obviously... I, I want to feel comfortable in self. I would self. rather be yeah. valued. I would rather be right. valued, yeah. but when you're cute, it's like, I automatic. Oh, and don't have a body. I started to fill out Ooh. my last years of high school, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And don't have a body. Then that was you're stupid as hell. Yeah. You got a butt? Oh, you're dumb. You don't have yeah. to work for anything because people give you things for free. Oh, you don't know anything because you're too cute to be smart. Yes. Oh, you look stuck up because you feel like you can't sit with me. Right. Now I'm the stuck up. It's a lot up. of yeah. projection. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot it of is. projection that you inherit Ooh, and a lot of nasty Perceived notions that just go... Uh at Morgan, you are. listen, in, in college, lots of people would come to me and be like, you are so nice. I thought you were so mean. Mm -hmm. Why? Who I told you that? Told yeah, you like, that. where'd you get that from? Who told yeah. you that? Like, mm -hmm. I, I've never given you that thing. Why would you take that thing for yourself? And, yeah. you know, you know, people take things and run with it all the exactly. time. Exactly. And, and, and that's why I'm glad that you mentioned exactly. perception. It's perception. Because we talk about beauty, like we talked about societal standards of beauty, right? Last episode, right? We got really, you know, we didn't get too deep into mm -hmm. it, but you know, and I, I don't even know I was a part of the standard. I thought I was skinny <laughs> and in a way. I right, got teased right. for that. You know, when you're coming up, the boys tease you for everything. Oh and my God. They, they have their growth spur after you. Yeah. So the girls grow faster than yeah, the they boys catch up. Right? Yeah. I was so taller than everybody in He's my so classes tall. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I was smart. Right. The teachers liked me. I liked to read books and shit. Right. I was a fucking nerd. <laughs> and they were like, making fun of you for those things. You know, they wanted to throw shit at me. Like they, oh, I was a geek in my head. Mm. They used to tease me because I had perfect diction and articulation, but I was a nerd. I really liked school, yeah. right? And ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Right? And it's nothing wrong with that, but it was more of the thing where I internalized those things. So mm -hmm. when I got to an age where it was like, it's time to feel cute, it was given. Wait, I'm cute? Right. Yeah. Brittany, mm -hmm. I agree with that. What, do you, what, what has, what? What was pretty girl privilege giving so you? So I, you know, so I feel like my experience is just a little bit different, right? Because I feel like pretty privilege is tied in with colorism as well, right? Mm. Oh, for because, sure. Ooh. You know, a lot of the times, like when people think about pretty privilege and how it, it ties into societal norms of light being right, you know, that, 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 that yep. growing up. And that's something that I experienced growing up, like Same. light being right. But I also think when I think about pretty privilege, I also think about like bodies, right? Yeah. And growing up, I was always round. I was always the thick girl out of the crew. And I struggled so much with my self-esteem and I used to hang out with my cousins and they were slimmer than I was. And I was the big girl. And, you know, looking back on my pictures, I'm like, Oh, girl, you had a body. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, right. you was you really was five. Bad. Okay. And, 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 you know, I sit down in my adult life and I'm like, I cannot believe I felt this way right. about myself. And so when I talk, when people talk about like colorism and like light skin versus dark and pretty versus ugly, I do, there, there are benefits to it. Like you said, like people, put you in this thing because of perception. They perceive you to be uh, beautiful. That's why they say beauty is in the high yeah, to be older yeah. because 
you may not feel a certain way about yourself, but other people feel a certain way about you. So they put you in this particular category about what that looks like. And then when we think about pretty privilege, we talk about weight. What does that look like? Because they yeah. associate beauty with ugly. Like I had a conversation one day and I'm just like, you know what, girl, I'm just, I'm just fat right now. And everybody's like, oh my God, you're not fat. You're beautiful. And I'm like, first of all, trick, I didn't say that I was ugly. I said that well, I was fat. Yeah. Being right. fat yeah. is not synonymous with being, yeah, it's not. you know, it's not synonymous it's with yes. being beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Because somebody who may be smaller than me may not yeah. have a certain, you know, right. look Right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So I feel like pretty privilege does exist, but it comes with the pros and cons because you are put on this pedestal of certain things and then it comes with the stereotype like, oh, you're stupid. You're dumb. Yeah. Um, if you're that cute, you can't possibly have something smart yeah. to say out yeah. your mouth. And then it's like, you're sometimes you feel very conflicted yeah. with that. And then to be light-skinned yeah. in this space, right? Not because Diamond, soul. you talked about, you know, you're, you're beautiful brown girl you know what i'm saying (laughs) and when you talk about pretty privilege and how you've seen like i've I've seen this before like certain girls look a certain way right they have the the big curly hair Mm -hmm. the light the pretty light eyes and the certain body shape Mm -hmm. and it's like they're the desired girl and then i used to feel like you know what and and i know people are probably going to be like girl you still light skin you still received it but i always felt like the odd light skin girl like Mm -hmm. you know we talk about light skin skin. i wasn't that light skin girl i didn't feel like i received anything but if i sit down and talk with my cousins who are darker than me we're probably feel a little yes. different but growing up I just was like they got yeah. all the attention that I thought that I wanted from yeah. people and here I am people are looking at me now like oh my god Brittany you're so pretty and I'm like it took so much to Brittany, get you know yeah. what yeah. I'm yeah. gonna this say space. something to you to actually piggyback on the the colorism mm-hmm. thing you know a lot of people were like oh you're so pretty your body is so nice I know that it was easy for you to get in a club it was not <laughs> It's a thing where wow. people don't realize that when you're working at nightlife and you're working in these clubs, Ooh. a lot of these owners are, don't look like you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A lot of these owners are white, Arab, you know, yes. Persian. Yes. They're, yes. They're, they're, they don't look like you. Yeah. And their standard of beauty is completely Pretty different, different. Yeah. Completely different. from the clients in yeah. which they serve and benefit and that's from. Real. So when you're trying to work in these clubs, mm-hmm. they're looking at you like, Baby, oh, who are she you? She doesn't look yeah. hard enough. Mm-hmm. I need yeah. another girl. You will get passed up over and over again if you don't know anyone. Yeah. Yeah. No clubs wanted to hire me that until I made friends in the club. True. Until I actually was like, oh, okay, I have connections. Yeah. It's, yeah. And, and, even, and that was all oh, you could sell me bottles. And even so then, yeah. yes. I was yeah. the only dark skin girl mm-hmm. and, and even crazy then, i was the only like black yeah. urban looking girl yeah. wow. you know because they like they they don't want to attract an only urban crowd so they want a mixture be of girls d- and you become the type of way girl yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in a way they don't say it yeah. it's not a it's not a a, a heavy emphasis yeah. on it yeah. but you know when mm-hmm. yeah. the girl who looks more foreign or racially ambiguous gets right. the job before yeah, you do. And Absolutely. it's crazy though when you talk about pretty privilege and I'm, I, you know, I'm, so we can have parents chime in on it, but like I, I think about like, you know, when we talk about this pretty privilege and, and this thing and it really, it's always just so confusing because like you said, just self-esteem is like, you don't know how I feel about myself, but yeah. people are putting you on this pedestal and people are just like, well, well, and it's like, I say to myself, when we bring up colorism and we bring up pretty, you know, the pretty privilege yeah. versus, you know, ugly, whatever the case may be, yeah. I'm just like, okay, we're talking about it, but what are ways to resolve those problems? Because we're talking about the colorism, yeah. We're right? never going to resolve gonna it because there are people who benefit too greatly yeah. from it. And yeah. it's like, okay, so you think I benefit from, from privilege, privilege, like, and, and especially sometimes you don't yeah. even recognize it. Yeah. Like, do, like, how do I, okay, so how do you suggest that, you know, I, I don't benefit from this? Especially yeah. sometimes it's a subconscious thing that people do around yeah. you and that you do. Now, I will say that there mm-hmm. are some people who use their looks to their advantage yeah. I know a lot yeah. of girls who be yeah. like okay I put on something because yeah. I know I'm going to because I'm going to get in oh, here oh, and I'm going to do this, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. They get pulled over by a cop and it's, like, it's, it's a different mm-hmm. vibe so you know th- those let those me try are... to pull that shit exactly okay. you're going down bitch yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> hop in the back Key, of the cop about, car what are your thoughts about like pretty privilege and like the pros or cons yeah okay so you guys touched on so many good points and I just want to bring up a few of them so for me personally I've always struggled with my skin and mm-hmm. I've always struggled with um, certain perceptions of, oh, I have dark eyes. Let me put in color contacts. Oh, mm, gotcha. um, you know, my natural hair wasn't a big thing for me for a long time. I was straightening my hair. I was cut it a certain mm. way or, yeah. you know, put in a weave for this and the third. And I really didn't need it. Yeah. But, you know, that's just society and how things work. Yeah. Um, for a long time, I struggled with my skin and I was wearing cakey makeup. I mm. had to cover every single little thing. So. I personally didn't feel like I was 
in that pretty girl group. Mm. I always had to cover up some blemish, some, something, something I felt like it was always wrong. Absolutely. Um, as I got older, I did realize, OK, you got to stop giving a fuck what yeah. everybody else is thinking, seeing mm. it doesn't matter. What do you think of yourself? And that's right. really what it comes down to. Right. Um, so another thing agree. about this club business and uh, I'll go into professionalism. So with this club business, especially in D.C., again, I had to step into that club business because my friend was already in that club mm -hmm. and she was the only black girl in that club. And that's how I got put into that. Mm. I did not work certain days because they did not want that crowd there. Yeah. It's a pretty girl. It's a urban crowd. You're not pretty enough to be mm. here. Or and, light enough. Uh, yeah, or you're not light enough, mm. or you're not skinny enough, because or I've never been really come out skinny. Of a particular way. Yeah, and they want you like, so many how different are you? Things. What can I do for you? And you mind don't... you, I can do the voice. I can put on oh, a why? white girl voice, mm. yes. but I shouldn't have to. Yeah, I should not have to. Point. I that's shouldn't have point. to. Um, but a lot of the times, I did have to wear certain things or cover up mm -hmm. certain things that I didn't feel like was a problem, but again, it, it came out as an issue or, you know, I was treated a certain way just because mm -hmm. I looked that way. Mm -hmm. um, but again, in professionalism, when I got my job that I was at for five years, I came in looking a certain way. Mm -hmm. I had a weave in my hair. I was wearing makeup every day. And, you know, I was trying to play the part, but after a while, like, you get that exhausted. shit gets tiring. Yeah. Like, I'm not yeah. spending an hour on my that. makeup and my hair to look every like... single day just to be the face of the company. Yeah. I came in one day. Listen, I've had enough. <laughs> I'm enough. going to wear my hair like this. I'm putting my shit up in a bun. And what are you going to say? And yeah, exactly. What you going to say? Me. And I wore no makeup. And, you know, she was like, oh, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Yes, I'm feeling okay. <laughs> and you know what? I'm I'm feeling feeling like I had me. not worn no makeup. And since then, I had, I just didn't care anymore. Listen, I'm, I'm feeling like, like me. I'm not about to it's do it. So yeah, I'm feeling like me. Like, it's so hard. I'm to not doing it. Out. I'm not doing it. It's so crazy because, you know, um, I never directly worked the club business, but there was a time I wanted to. Mm. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what discouraged me. One time, one of my friends, if you ain't light, you ain't right. Uh -huh. Real light skin. Sent me a picture. She was like, OK, do you want to make some money? And mm -hmm. She was like, you know, being a part of the, this bottle girl group, whatever. I was like, sure. She sent me the picture of the girl. She was like, OK, this is all of it. I think you're pretty enough. Ooh. Mm. What the hell? And I used mean? to get DMs when, that's really when I was working in the club. I used to get DMs like. Do you think I could make it? Like, do you think that they would like me? I know that DC clubs don't like black girls. And, and, that's it so, and it's got nothing. Yeah, and, and it's, it's like, got nothing like to do girls. with liking and, and you. I can't say, you know, I, I saw the bottle girl thing because I thought it was, I was like, oh, bottle girls, okay. Yeah. That's really cute. But I, it's a lot of things that I never embarked on simply because I was a big girl, okay? Yeah. I am a big mm -hmm. girl, okay? Yeah. Still currently. And always was so scared, fearful. And talking just about like the pretty privilege yeah. and, 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 and of course included in the pretty privilege, the yeah. pretty privilege is the body privilege. You know yeah. what your yeah. body looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah. It reminds me of um, one of my influencer friends. I love her to death. Her name is Sasha, but she goes by flaws of couture on social media, mm -hmm. on, on her social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And she made a tweet that talking about like, you know, when we talk about being beautiful and, and the things that we subscribe to in life and societal standards, we always equate thin to accomplishment. She said, we try to lose weight mm -hmm. for I've weddings. This mm -hmm. We amazing. try to lose oh, weight for birthdays. Yes. And we, you know, people start to recognize you when you start to lose weight. And it's like, why, why, why do we associate this yes. weight with certain achievements? Why yeah. can't we be plus yes. size? And one of my friends who just got married, shout out to Jazz, you know, she said, like, I, I thought about it because me and her did like a program together because we were just trying to get yeah. back healthy. Mm -hmm. And before her wedding, she said she struggled with it. She said, you know what? This wedding dress is going to get whatever. And I said, because you're still beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You know, regardless yeah. of, of whatever, how many pounds whatever you weigh. Whatever size you're trying yeah. to be. And it's crazy that we associate weight. We associate certain features with yeah. what is to yeah. be beautiful. You know what's so crazy to, uh -huh. to, to put right back in that bag mm -hmm. that you we're just talking about is how they want the white girls, but they want the white girls with the black, black girl body. Yes, and it's yes. like Absolutely. you can get hired mm -hmm. after you leave your surgeon. Yeah, mm -hmm. your surgeon, you want her body. Yeah, but you're mm -hmm. to yeah. yeah, come on yep. in. Yeah, and it is crazy it's, to me. It yeah. makes me so it's angry. Yeah, <laughs> so doesn't it just grind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Burns> my gears? <laughs> so for me, pretty girl privilege. So what I will say is, you know. I lived on so many different spectrums of the world. It's really weird. So mm -hmm. I was heavily associated with the white kids, but I was also very affiliated with the black kids. So it really almost came as like a classism thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I never realized like, you know, for example, depending who you're around, it dictates the standards of beauty. You yeah. are. Yes. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'd be with the white girls and they were always fascinated, but I wasn't thin like the white girls mm -hmm. or thin enough how they would want them or 
um, my features are too strong. My nose isn't as delicate. Uh-huh. So, you know, I couldn't really fit in with them because yeah. they were the really high pony yeah. pretty uh, girls. Mm-hmm. I was the girl fanned out pony. Okay. okay. Got, wings, got the wings going on. You know, mm-hmm. 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 you know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, they didn't look at me as acceptable. So, like, a lot of times what would happen is, you know, so when I was in foster care, I went to a Catholic school. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, everybody loved me, but it seemed like when we were around certain people, they couldn't show the love yes. they had. They would me. disassociate. Yes, absolutely. They would, mm-hmm. like, disassociate. But, like, as soon as those people would leave, it was like, come on, come hang with us. We love your swag. Let me steal it and drain it. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But whenever people came, well, we can't really hang with you like that because we're right. pretty girls over you here. Yeah. Yeah. You it's, know, and then I would weird. get with the ba- black girls and, you know, they would treat me like, oh, you think you're all that. You know, everybody uh-huh. likes oh, you. Oh, because you yeah. think you all yeah. that. Because yeah. you got edges. Right, right. It, <laughs> Like, or, or you, you know, what? what? So <laughs> it seemed like it depends on who I was with di- dictated what pretty girl privilege I had. Absolutely. Uh-huh. And it was really like strange that. to me because, you know, then I, you know, you come to D.C. and I'm around so many. It's so diverse here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I had all type of friends. I had Asian friends, African friends, Dominican friends, Jamaican friends. It was so diverse that it actually opened up a different avenue. So I was almost unique in my own way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, like Which a lot, you were from the start. Absolutely. Which yeah. I was from the start. So a lot, like a lot of you said, like I remember not always feeling like I was that pretty girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I always knew it was weird because my mom and a shout out to my mom because something I learned from my mother, my mom really and we were just talking about this mm-hmm. my mom really took care of herself mm-hmm. she always made sure she smelled good she yeah. looked good like so it doesn't matter what you think of her features mm-hmm. it, something is something you're gonna like about her mm-hmm. right so all that to say is that was something i took from her so right. whether you may not like my features but you're gonna like the way i dress yeah you may right. not like the way i dress you're gonna like the way i smell right, right. If you don't like the way i smell it's you're gonna, gonna be like something the way i something about me because it's, not like every, it's right. an experience it's, it's an experience <laughs> and i'm not everybody's preference right. and that's okay and that's something i had to learn too but honestly it wasn't really until i moved to dc like uh-huh. uh the dmv in yeah. general where i felt so comfortable being my unique self mm-hmm. and it was because it was so many different forms of beauty right. and um i'll right. be honest with so you so many different levels of it was Absolutely. so many yes. Yes. different yes. levels and it was i'm gonna be honest with you i remember like I, this is about to be shady but if we pod and let's pod in the words of time okay right? let's let's pod let's do I it i would get around <laughs> caucasian women that wasn't as cute as me mm-hmm. i'm gonna be honest mm-hmm. baby don't and, go to la they're gonna be like you're not white get out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They weren't as cute as me. Or I would get around other girls of other ethnicities and I'd get around and the boys would flock to me. And, uh-huh. you know, I know y'all thought y'all was giving what y'all was giving. But I, get, <laughs> but I, I came, came around. around. I came, came, came. Came. So, like, I'm not going to lie. I started to see a certain level of pretty girl privilege when I moved here. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm and not so going to lie. Because this is chocolate city. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Because this I is chocolate did. city. They, they value the brown they really, skin here. They love maybe the not brown the club skin owners, here. Maybe not the people who moved here from their respective states. Uh-huh. But yeah. to, to kind of like But the people that already are here. But the people that live here, they like the brown skin. But this is what became my problem. I used to so when I remember having a conversation with one of my friends vividly and she was like yo white men like you Mm. Asian men like you like baby what else they gonna like and it made me feel (laughs) no shame and she was like they don't like she, she was like they don't like me but they like you so talk to them to get us in here Talk to them to do this for mm. us. And that's where I started disconnecting from pretty girl privilege. Mm. Because I that never burden. wanted to so have used. that burden of having to being used mm-hmm. um, for certain things. Oh, because I, I, I I've, used. I've, right. I've always worked in corporate world, like since I've started working. Like uh-huh. I always had a good job. I always had something. So I was around a lot yeah. of Asians, a lot yeah. of white people, yeah. a lot of you, that diversity. You know, different, yeah. That diversity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So a lot of these was business owners and right. people who owned this and all mm-hmm. this. And my friends would be like, well, they like you already. You're already in. You're the black girl that's in. Uh-huh. Right. Didn't it make you feel a little bit like you were being slutted out? Like, like bitch, like, that's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. Y'all don't know, like, know slutted out about- until your friends like, no, stand by their table because they're going to see your ass and they're going to want you. Oh, and when they want God. you, then I we can swear. come with you. That was a story of my life when I was out here in these streets. Yeah. Y'all don't understand. It's that pretty girl so- privilege comes with fucking burdens. Yeah. And then now but. everybody thinks you're a whore because everybody wants you. Oh, my God. But nobody wants to protect your name from what comes with you being a Exactly. And, you know, in retrospect, like, because you guys are are such awesome women and I'm sitting here and I'm looking at y'all y'all like y'all beautiful and don't let you be beautiful with a swag. Mm. Don't let you be beautiful don't with a like, personality. Don't have a becomes, personality because now we have another issue. 
Listen, don't be shapely. Don't be sexually attractive. Because being pretty and sexually attractive are two totally different things. It is. Because now you have precious. People have things that they're interested yes. in. People have, oh, she's cute, but I want to fuck her. Yeah. Yes. Some people are, mm-hmm. you know, so you yeah. walk in and you like, oh, I'm just here, so I don't get fired. Yeah. I don't get fined. And I don't, then I don't have no have problems. Associated all and then people over shit. there having yeah. lusty thoughts about you. Now you're the whore. Like, what the fuck? And what did I do? What did I do? I'm just looking at the way that I look. It goes into, and it, it, we, it hits back on some of the things that we touched on. About police like in your curves. Police in the curves. Yeah. Yeah. Police in the women. The mm-hmm. Because I feel like I've experienced that a lot, too. Like, I went into a space where, like, trying to decide, like, what kind of clothes did I want to wear. Yeah. yeah. Because what's acceptable. He, uh, it was acceptable. Yeah. I remember my first job out of, um, you know, Morgan, okay, mm-hmm. MSU. <laughs> um, I was working at a call center. And, I, you know, they wanted us to wear, like, certain, you know, semi, you know, business yeah. casual a little bit. Sometimes jeans were acceptable. But but I would go in with, you know, clothes I got out of the, the professional right, right, dress right, section, right. okay? They said this was the plus size, casual section, the slack, so, so the that's shirt. where I'm at. And my boss, another black woman, came up to me and was just like, you know. It's told, always the black other, woman police. She told my, other, <laughs> my other boss, and, you know, let's be clear that my other boss, she did not come in there dressed her best. Like, she she looked a little sloppy, right? And she had the nerve to tell me, like, you know, Miss Garrett, you have to watch uh, the clothes that you wear. And and I was very offended because I'm like, listen. Story of my I life. I cannot control how certain clothes, because if I buy my clothes too big, then I'm going to look sloppy. Yeah, if right. I buy them too small, they're going to be tight. Like, this is my size, okay? okay. I can't deal with it. it. Deal with it. I can't help that the wagon is wagoning and it's okay. dragging. I can't help it's it. It's dragging. Right. It's you dragging. Know, <laughs> a part of that and a part of the attention that you get from having a certain body or and look, sometimes it starts to make you feel insecure about yes. it because yes. a lot of the time growing up and still to this day sometimes I'd be like I want a little butt reduction yeah, like can girl. I get a little reduction and stuff and people are like Listen, you're crazy people are dying yeah, but it nice. comes with that burden it's, that yeah. attention. I don't want it like hey, people think that you want attention I, wanna and touch I don't on that. want the attention I want to piggyback on that right quick because I think sometimes that people think you're supposed to be so bastard than the fact that you get pretty girl privilege that they don't realize that a lot of us don't even want the fucking, fucking attention. Shit. Like, because I got more to offer, bro. Like, like, I'm right. Yeah, like, yeah. point blank, I'm period. Cool point blank, period. Like, 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 open my mouth. Like, hey, hey, <laughs> it's me over here. I'm smart. Do you see me? Like, hey. <laughs> I have a personality. I'm great at comprehension. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's and so many things I do good. Teaching and okay. explaining. Why I know the math is all about that. Exactly. But I didn't ask for this butt. My mother gave me this butt. Can y'all right. just see my like, right. normal? Yeah. 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 Right. It's crazy. Exactly. So I have a question. Okay, question. You know how he's got to <laughs> You got to get scared when a question is. <laughs> this is this splat. This is so, um, how has being attractive specifically worked against you? Mm. I'm going to go last. And I, I don't know. I'll start with Paris. Go ahead, P. Um, um, and I whatever mean, way you could think of, being attractive, obviously, we're saying all saying that it comes with its negative notation. Oh, I already know have off you the ever top, been but I'm going to let you go first. Have you ever been in a situation where being attractive has caused you more pain or agony than the other side? I definitely want to say, like, working in a club. Yeah. Um, listen. Okay, yeah. I, I At that point in time, I was feeling myself. I used to always have my ass out. You know what I'm saying? Looking good in body suits, this and that third. But again, the attention mm-hmm. and the name that comes with that, it's 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 too much to handle sometimes. Yeah. Like degrading. Um, yeah. yeah. Um just because I have my ass out don't mean you fucking tonight. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Just because yeah. you tip me well doesn't mean I'm about to go home with you. Yeah. Like right. we are not an yeah. escort service. Yeah. Right. I am here to do one job yeah. and that job is being done. And once mm-hmm. you tip me, I'm on my way. Mm-hmm. That's and that's what it is. But the Absolutely. names that go with it and yeah. along with it, it's hurtful. Yeah. And you know, we did that for a long time. Yeah. I, I think about three, four years yeah. I was doing that. And it just comes with a lot. And even in a relationship, it it just comes with that burden and yeah. it does more harm than yeah, I think good, good. than yeah. good. I mean, obviously the money was good. Right. But, right, right, right. but the things that go along with it. It outweighs it sometimes. It's yeah, it's just it's sometimes it just yeah. wasn't worth it. Mm. Um I, you know, to be truth truthful and very transparent, like there's some spaces that I, I don't see the pretty privilege, right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it took me a while to even get into the fact that like, damn, Brittany, you look really good, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't ever, I, I don't know if I feel like I've ever like seen the direct benefit of that. 
because I also struggle with being plus size and mm -hmm. not me struggle with being plus size, but the world struggling with the plus yeah, size. Right? Yeah. Even yeah. though people yeah. who still feel like, oh, Brittany, you're the desired shape because the plus size world is a little different. That's yeah. a different story. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay, yeah. you got the big fat, you got the desirable yeah, yeah, yeah. fat. And yeah, I yeah, fall yeah. in the desirable people will be like, oh, you're not fat. Can you're I tell you shapely. something yes. while you talk about that? I, I wanted to say this last episode is so crazy. I was like, mm -hmm. I know you always identify as like, Big or fat, mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't really see yeah. you that way. Yeah. And a lot of people like, don't because so I, it's, it's important. It's I think because you carry yourself right. so as yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and that's because a lot of people see me as a desired fat girl, but there are still some things because even in, in being cute and being this curvy, you know, woman, I still feel like Queen Latifah and just right as the right. homegirl, right? right. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. wants to right. homegirl me, which right. is why dating has really been strange because it's mm -hmm. like, I feel like I'm the homegirl home yeah. of the situation yeah, right, being the fat right. homegirl like yeah you cute right. you cool but I don't know type of thing yeah. you know type of vibe so I don't know if I've ever really feel like I've experienced it yeah. because I know I'm it's cute it's always right? been People some type of reservation okay. yeah it's, alongside but it's always a reservation because for me like you know my self love and my self care and my self acceptance journey is literally that it's a journey oh, yeah it's a marathon is continuing and uh -huh. to say that you know it's crazy because I never forget watching an episode of a show and um men typically fetishize, fetishize whatever is being pushed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they will think you look good as hell in their head. Mm -hmm. Some men, some men gonna go smack at you. I told you men <laughs> gonna smack at you. Some men they will in, in your head, though. but they can't, I, so they basically already hit her in envision their own marriage with this like putty, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they can't really unsee it. So then they try to, nah, that's not it. But baby, you could be missing out on a love of your life because okay. you're over here in the it, wrong it's side. Mm -hmm. it's so it's so yeah. crazy. Like, it's it's so crazy, which is why, like I said, this topic is so deep because you yeah. got to think about body shapes and all yeah. of that. So I don't know if I ever feel like I really like directly, you know, had have benefited that, from because yeah. again, like I said, I still struggle. Like you know, there's some days I yeah. get up and I'm like. Well, girl, you look good. And then some days I'm literally yeah. having conniption fits in the mirror because I'm like, nothing looks right yeah, on me. I'm not feeling feel this. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to throw this mm -hmm. away. And I'm, and you know. Anybody that follows me on social media, yeah, they know yeah, like yeah. I'm super transparent. Very. Like the one thing that I like to be is transparent. I'm one of those transparent influencers because I'm not getting on there looking beat yeah. up every day. I'm not getting there dressed yeah. every day. Some days I'm on there, my little natural hair is in its little plaits, and I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. guys, I'm looking yeah. all baggy today. Yeah, and I think it's today. so cute. But, I love it. You know, and I'm saying whatever my point is. Yeah. So sometimes I'm still, I'm, I'm, I think I'm still within that space of like trying Kinda to in the find, middle, right? And people yeah. perceive yeah. it to be this super or, confident or you're girl. Just having this or you're just a human yeah. that has days. Like that too. Yeah. some, some yeah. people like Very some days, and, and it's no different. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I kind of want to say this too, because some days I feel super cute. Some days I feel like a bump. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's yes. all of us. That's Today. all of us. Okay. Definitely. Today, bitch, you lucky if you get one shaved arm, one unshaved <laughs> arm. My fucking, my you just gonna get chin something. hair right here. I don't Listen fucking same. know. It might be something going on. My but fucking yes, braids going to the yes. back. It, I don't know. And that's like, how I feel on a lot of days. And so people perceive me from social media to be this super confident right. girl. And I always like to remind people. And then they like, put you on this pedestal. Like, like you always got to come the, that the way. The reality is, though, that like, I'm in a, a space of my journey where it's like, you know what? I have flaws. There's some things that yeah. I'm like, yeah. I absolutely look in the mirror and I'm just like, I don't really like this. But what you're not going to do. And, and I said this earlier before we started recording. Yeah. right? I'm not going to allow those insecurities and those. To cripple flaws you. To yeah. cripple me. Like, I'm going to yes. live life. Okay. Sometimes when I, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. I'm still going out because I'm. You miss so self much. Self-doubt doesn't have to live here. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't miss so much next door being she can visit. of certain things. So, but. I, like I said, back to the point of, I don't know if I've ever really, you know, benefited. Fully. Like, I don't think I've ever really fully benefited. Some people may say they have. I, I don't know because I've never had yeah. these conversations with the people around me. But I personally don't think that I've benefited just because I feel like I'm pretty, right. but I'm also in this fat girl category okay. yeah. trying to decide yeah. that. So all my bitches yeah. are hyping me up, right? Yeah, like, of course, of course, like, absolutely. You know, you, yeah. you, you know, you date in and yeah. it's like, okay, you, 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 and, and people be like, oh, women don't want attention from men, but it's like, when you want to date and you trying to catch her somebody's eye, mm -hmm. like, right? baby, mm -hmm. it's Hello? like, okay, do you see me, right? right. And like, right. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, and then the creeps that are in my inbox, y'all, my inbox is terrible. Because <laughs> like, they have wild fetishes some of them, out here, no, so it's, now it's fetish, and, and that's what I don't like. Yeah. And you're not going to fetishize me being this yeah. bad girl. Like, what you're not going to do, right. I, I don't want you like, to post right, me on your BBW right, pages. Right. I'm not out here with these skinny bikinis with my ass shaking. Like, yeah. No night. shade to the women who choose to do yeah. that. But that's not me in right. my fat girl journey. Like, yeah. That's not what yeah. I'm doing. So don't, yeah. fet don't, don't fetishize, fetishize me. me. I hate it. Yeah, but Diamond, yeah. you said you wanted to go last. Come on, about Diamond. Diamond. So come, on hair. come through, come through. Because I got something for y'all. Okay. Yeah. Imagine being so pretty nobody wants you. Ooh. I feel like that don't get enough chat. People yeah. don't chat about like that. Like the insecure mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People, yeah. people not chat about that. Like that's, they post that's, 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 that's a thing. That's they a not, thing they, right they not doing it enough. Because yeah. I feel like, you know, 
you in your mind, you can go into, like, this was always me. I would always say, hey, you know, I'm me. I'm just me. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. I like that. These are my interests. This uh -huh. is what I like to wear. This is what I feel comfortable in. This is how I am. Now, you know, no matter what anybody else feels or how anybody else thinks, how I dressed and what I put on really appealed to what I wanted to feel. Mm -hmm. So I wear tight clothes because I like the closeness on my body. Mm -hmm. I like that, 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 yeah. that, that. That yeah. Whole, yeah. Okay. Me. And I've always been Please naturally comfort me. Right. I've always been naturally on a smaller side. Yeah. I like the way those clothes look on me, and that's what I wear. That's more of my personality, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I looked at as beautiful. That was my mm -hmm. own personal. So mm -hmm. that's what I chose, right? But as you as you start to date and as you start to become older and you start to mix and mingle and become sexually active and you're yeah. dealing with, mm -hmm. you know, whomever you'd like to date, namely men. The men, when you when you appeal to one man, you have to understand that you appeal also to their ego. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because their ego dictates to them, what type of girl am I supposed to be with? Mm -hmm. What type of girl should I be with? And a lot of the time, that basically tells them, the girl you should be with should look like this because that's the kind your favorite rapper got. Mm -hmm. your, favorite, your girl should, that you date needs to have a body shape like this because mm -hmm. that's the type that the richest man in the country mm -hmm. has. Yeah. Or whatever they idolize, mm -hmm. right? If you fit that, that space, right, mm -hmm. and you begin to date and things like that, they like you, but they not comfortable with loving yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you two on point and they're not 100% secure in what Ooh. they got going on, it's going to bring out they like, this bitch yeah. my feelings. We could play yep. around, but I'm yeah. not like, serious with yep. you. Yep. Come on. Yep. She's not Read them safe. down, dying. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. yeah. not safe. Can I chime in on yeah. that? You know, one of my close male friends, um, shout out to my bro, he told me that Niggas really can't handle a bad bitch. No. Mm. When it when it comes to when it comes to this bad bitch life, you gotta understand it's gonna be a lot of lonely motherfucking it's days. Lonely. And I'ma just put it That's, to you straight. You know what's so funny? When I read the pretty girl article, the pretty girl privilege article that I seen, the first headline was Pretty Girl Privilege is a lonely road. Mm. It's a very lonely road. The girls don't like you because they feel like they niggas is niggas looking. Niggas are insecure the men, by you. The men you don't them... like you because they feel like they niggas yes. is looking. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's just be clear. When you... If, it's if a you, lot. They want their girl to stay in the house. They want this, that, and yeah. the other, blah, blah. You don't know or how the, many mm. times that I've encountered dating situations where guys be like, Trying to, they all up in my face. They want to date me. They want to know my number. They want to know what size shoe mm -hmm. I wear so they can yeah. buy me some shoes. They can take me shopping. They can do all these things yeah. that they feel like I want and these yeah. things that I deserve, right? And then you say, what's your situation? You got a girlfriend? Yeah. Mm. Or they married. Mm. Or they got somebody who oh. think they together. Mm. And want me to tell you why? Because the safe bitch gets wife. She's at home. Yeah. She ain't doing but nothing. But the girl, the girl that appeals to all their fantasies, yeah. all their ego needs. Because then their... you appeal, because if you appeal to theirs, then you appeal to their peers. And they don't want Ooh. to have that competition. Yeah. So a lot of the times you go through That's life deep. being wanted, but nobody really no, don't want value you. Yeah. They don't value you. And that you. goes into the, they the don't fact value. that a lot of the time some of these men are a little bit insecure because I think I've experienced that. Like they a lot of bit insecure. Yeah. Dating and like, you know, they'll be like, ooh, trying to get to know me, trying to really be on my line, right? Child. But then it's like, they again this perception of me on social media and this is I mean my social media account is really who I am right yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Of course okay, okay. Right. Yeah, absolutely I, I, all of that right and so it's like it's like oh my god like they like it because they want to be able to say like oh yeah I'm dating B Gary like yeah, yeah the same thing yeah. make like, you happy like, make you sad and it's like yeah. okay so what are we gonna do about it and then when you talk about certain things it's kind of like ooh they kind of shy back and it's just like Bro, like, oh, but I don't want to take you like, here, you, but you I don't want to do this. Like, I don't want to like, do that. You're doing too much. Like, come, mm -hmm. like, come on. And then in DC, it's it's, it was really janky because for me, it was more of a thing where if one thing don't work out, I don't have to stick with the same guy who's dragging me through the mud in mm -hmm. order to be deemed classy. Yeah. yeah. Like, why do I right need to be seen or known to be with one guy in order to be? Uh, oh, she's still a good girl. Yeah. If it don't work out or that man is driving me crazy, I'm nexting him. If you yeah, see me yeah. out with another dude, that's my Can right. And, that, and that's, and, and that's, hmm. Yeah. Who wanna check me? Is. Yeah. I shouldn't have to be a, and, like evaluated because I know a lot of the time dating, a lot of people will be like, oh, she be with a lot of dudes. She only like dudes with money. Now let's talk about this. Why the hell would I want somebody who can't make money? I gotta make money, right? Okay. I like nice things. I want to be able to do nice things. Why would I set myself up for poverty? Let's be real. Two, why do I only have to date one man or have known to ever slept with one man or to be worthy? Because niggas it really, didn't work out. Yeah, it's weird. It it's didn't work weird. out. It is I'm weird. not staying there. It is what it is. They want pretty uh, freak nasty Listen, girls. Listen, you, when you <laughs> appeal. I've never fucked. Yeah. 
<laughs> you oh you want me to go crazy on a joint but you don't want nobody to have ever taught me how oh, that's real. <laughs> now, <laughs> now now let's really unpack that so, so, so yeah. what are we talking about it's, it's, it's very so what are we talking what about, are we talking about? You know what I mean? so finding that 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 Drake said you were practicing for me listen and, and, <laughs> okay. and indeed and I was okay yes and indeed I was Drake said practice for me exactly I feel like that's the thing that pretty privilege <laughs> yeah the pretty privilege goes out the window when you're dating because when you're dating it's like yeah you real pretty you appeal to every single thing that I ever imagined but mm -hmm. because of that same reason I don't feel emotionally safe with you yeah mm -hmm. I don't, mm -hmm. so they don't even so give you the space you. Yeah. they don't give you the space to be yourself they don't yeah. give you the space to explore because it's and like they damn they make you feel like you only can be one thing mm -hmm. you yes. only can yeah. be pretty oh, and don't you can't they like police you of what they want you to be I was to just be. about yeah. to say that they act like so once they, they get with you they yeah. shut you down people right yes. like, a, like you talk about a piece to the peers they want you to act a certain way so they homeboys and they chair them chair them on yeah, yeah, you yeah, got a good girl. You look good. Y'all looking good. And it's like what? Like, it's like, trash. Yeah. No. And you know, um, you know, before I switch to the, uh, you know, our hot takes. Before you know, be, gotta go because I need your yeah. takes on these. Right. So, um, what I will say to conclude, um, pretty girl privilege as well. I feel like that stereotype is really high on that pretty girl privilege problematic list. It's yeah. very and problematic. The reason why is because. Again, pretty girls are only supposed to be pretty girls and be labeled as like some type of trophy. Mm -hmm. You're only here to look good, sit pretty, don't do too much. That's true. Yeah. But if you're a pretty girl that's passionate, loud, mm -hmm. lutta, or loved a, it's you're doing outside of what we thought you would do. Yeah. Like we thought you were oh, supposed to do something. You're always acceptable. gonna create like, a box and throw yeah, you in. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's like this imaginary box that they put you in. It's like they first they put you on a pedestal, so they mm -hmm. love you. Then once they put you on the pedestal, they put you in a box mm -hmm. because we can't let you go outside this box because you're kind of too pretty. And now you messing with my head. Now yeah. you're messing with yeah. my head. Now yeah. I, I'm kind of confused. It makes no sense. And you know we love a label here in America. Right. Yeah. Right. We and, love and, labels. And we just love it. To embark on like how it's been a disadvantage to me. Again, I'm a lot like how we say a lot of people didn't take to me because they felt like I was stuck up. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of the coolest, coolest. bitches you gonna meet. Like yeah. I think I that don't just even, happens in weird. general with a lot of women. I just like to look good. Like and people, I've had so many Ooh, weird comments. I just yeah. had, I've had so many weird comments. Like you always gotta overdress. You always got to. Sorry. Yo, let me, that let me you don't know they, how to dress. They, let me jump in real quick because I do want to say something like that because I used to be the person who was always scared to be perceived as overdressing. Mm -hmm. And so I want to jump in real quick. There's a conditioning, especially amongst black women, that says talk about it. when you are putting yourself first, when you are taking the extra mile to make sure that you look and feel your best, mm -hmm. do not overshadow anybody next to you because in that case, you trying to be seen. Mm -hmm. And little black girls shouldn't be, be seen. seen. You you shouldn't even that, be heard. You know what, yeah. you know what, Stay out of the way. Mm -hmm. yep. Make sure you do what you're supposed to do, but don't be in here flashing and switching around. Yeah. I mean, it's you know a conditioning. What comes with it. it's, it is a conditioning because what was happening is it's like people are always trying to act like I was doing it for attention, but I couldn't possibly be doing when it because I started to get a butt for me. When I for me, I just to love myself. Good for me. Just when I started Amazon, to get a butt, it was you're poking your butt out, child. <laughs> what? Or you, Yo, too, or you got a body you know, and it's like you're too fast. And it's like, I'm not being I'm, I'm not, not being fast. fast. I'm not like, being a hoe. This, I'm not being a whore. This is what I You're sexualizing that. me. You're sexualizing me. You're sexualizing, you're me. sexualizing yeah. me. Like, literally, you as you were wrapping up, Shade, and you were yeah. talking about like putting us in this box, like that box in this pedestal and the box that you're getting ready to talk about really goes into our hot topics that yes, we're going to talk about. And I, I want to connect with you. Yes, when you jump into I'm going to connect you. Yes, I know. I already see where you're going because that's exactly where I was going. Because I just feel like they continuously put I'm gonna just go there black what? women in a box Period. yeah so that brings me into exactly <laughs> what I want to go to I got this hot topic you already know <laughs> Shakiri Richardson Woo. child Shakiri they dragging it they doing too much don't legalize weed and then villainize people for smoking it okay Period. yeah okay the okay. war on drugs is real okay the rules need to be updated. Yes, the Somebody rules were rules something. before we. I think was legal. that's that's what really that's what it really is. what that's really what it off. is. The rules need to be updated because how are you going to legalize something? It's and then recreational somebody for actually doing so it. So we could profit off of it. You can make hella little medical shots because people are sick and they can absolutely, benefit from yeah. it. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it's not an enhancement drug. It's not. But I can't smoke it. But you know what pisses me off a little bit more? That, I don't understand. What pisses me off is that you know. 
people can get certain drugs prescribed, right? And I, I you know, you, nobody could tell me any different, but a lot of these athletes, a lot of these white athletes, okay, because we're going to put a race on it because people like to say, oh, why racist have to think? Because everything has to do with race here yes. in America because yes, sorry. systemically that's what this country is built, built off, on, right? Mm-hmm. Everything. And so when every you think less, about some of these every little white last athletes thing. who get these injuries, who are now going to these doctors, getting mm-hmm. these drugs prescribed, mm-hmm. right? Half of them are addicted to it, right? And because they got a little sh- coin coin, right? Mm-hmm. They're able to play these doctors under the goddamn table yep. to get these prescriptions, but it's prescription. And half of the time they be fucking fucking on that shit yeah. Those are so Opiates. this little weed thing really pisses me off because how about i'm sick of it okay yeah. how about Opiates. y'all's favorite doctors are on coke okay, how about okay. That? half the okay. people making the rules um, be smoking the little zaza yeah, okay. okay high as fuck <laughs> <laughs> this Ooh. bothers me a lot and you know i have to say it again because i just we all Look at Shakiri as one of us. Right. 100 percent yeah. She yeah. is literally, we're older than her, but she is literally our younger 100%. child. 100 yeah. percent Absolutely. The girl who made it out the mud. 100 mm-hmm. percent In traumatic situations. Correct. And we don't even and know made the depth it, of it. And we don't trauma. even know yeah. the depth. Right, right. But I know the depth of my trauma. Yeah. Shit. And, and, shit, and I got yeah. a glimpse of hers. Mm-hmm. And when I got the glimpse of hers, the first thing I said is, wow, this young girl was able to make it this far. She I defied wish, the odds, literally. I yeah, wish right, at right. her age I was able to put aside my trauma and literally live out my dream. Live out my what dream. you said, not to be trapped in a trauma because that's where so trapped many of us have been. in my trauma. Mm-hmm, I was mm-hmm. unable to accomplish what she was able to do. She's at everybody's can we, hero. Can we just chat about the fact that this young lady had enough stamina, enough mental energy, okay? Oh, Zaza. To wake up, <laughs> to wake up Affix her wig. Baby. Make sure all nails were on. Oh, the last one is one lashes. Okay? Yes. The Make lashes sure that the lashes. lungs are functioning properly. The lashes are on the lid. Diamond. She's out here ready to go. Talk it's about a it. It's fixed properly so that she can run and then she can still see. She smoked a little weed and she still smoked everybody. Every single one of y'all. I just want to say. Baby, I'm a mama. You know, I'm a, I don't even know where my lashes are. Okay? You know, I'm going to just say it. I'm a weed smoker. Hello. Off the <laughs> Zaza. I'm sleep. It's giving. Oh, it's giving. It's knocked giving out. Yeah. Time, okay? it's, it's giving, giving time. I'm tired. Well, I'm organizing I'm not, like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it, so it's like, it's not. Okay. I just want to talk about this. When white boys do it. Michael Phelps. Uh-huh, Michael Phelps. <laughs> Everybody can look the other way. Reporters can look the other way. Their agencies can look the other way. Um, but when a black girl does it. Shame, the shame, shame. So stay, it goes stay, to stay in your place, Missy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it That's goes what to it's the given. yeah. It's a slave master, like you know. This is before you know we we got into it, but right? Yeah. Yeah. It's given slave mentality. She's vill- she's villainized for being human because when you're African American, when you're black, when you have any melanin in your skin that is darker than the status quo, then you are not allowed to be human. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because in you're the event that you mistakes. are, that means that you're a little too comfortable, and we don't like that. Right. Don't like That's that. what it's given, and mm-hmm. it speaks to the fact that. Black women, okay, because it's gonna all because we're all black women here. That it yeah. goes to the point that black women are not humanized, mm-hmm. and that when no, we are not. on top of the mountain and we are doing what the fuck everybody wants us to do, we are praised, we are getting the hand claps. But the moment we fall off or we have a moment, a lapse in judgment, yeah. it's what the fuck is wrong with you? Why mm-hmm. would you do that? You knew better. And my issue with all of this is, like we said, the rules are rules. Although I think those rules are outdated, I also want Very to outdated. understand like how those same people who who were praising her last week are now dragging her through the mud. Yeah. Like, oh, you should have did better. She should have known Stop better. Stop talking She's about not your a family. Girl. She's 21. But you know what kills me is if she was a little white girl, and I don't give a fuck who got something to say. If she was a little white girl, right? And this no. was a... It would have been victimized. Totally it would have been totally it different. It would have been but so Oh my died. gosh, she just lost her mother. Sources are saying she just lost her, her mom mother. she's going through a lot she has a lot of issues with addiction and emotional, emotional disturbance stress, right? we're going to go ahead and accept it or look yeah, the other exactly. way and there's a petition exactly. currently out I'll, to get her reinstated we, we thousand signatures. because this is ridiculous marijuana is legal everywhere else we should not penalize this it, the, the tone would be so completely different, different and it pisses me off it's because terrible. there's also other black people victimizing this girl other black people who are dragging her and it's like yo where's your loyalty stop talking about you, your family in front of company what is what <laughs> Like, what? Yes. Listen, that's exactly what, do, what and that's, no, and that's serious, what it, Seriously, what it is, but the thing about it is, why 
you were proud of her when she was doing good. And now you're ashamed of her. Why? Because, because she's, now she looks too much like you. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Mm. Because let's be clear. Right. She, died, she don't look good in front of Massa. She's she making us look bad in front See, of Massa. Now mm-hmm. Massa going to get us all because you didn't went the other oh, way. Like, yeah. like, come on, man. Like, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. let's just be clear. It's like. As, as a unit, we got to be a little bit more supportive, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. I feel like we be too quick to kind of like say, Try yeah. I'm out of here. Uh-uh, because yeah. I, I, wouldn't have, down. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have did that, bitch. You I wouldn't have been there. You wouldn't have made it. You wouldn't have made it. What I'm going to tell you from a girl who attempted to run track, that shit is the hard. Any athlete will tell you that is the hardest athletic endeavor you're going to set out on. Mm-hmm. It tests everything. I'm talking about practices. My toes to the top of my head mm. would hurt. You yeah. are going through extreme body conditions to be able to yeah. push yourself to run certain speeds, long distance, shot yeah. put, any of that stuff. Absolutely. It's extremely testing. For you to look down on someone because, oh, they got caught smoking weed, you doing worse, baby girl. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's just, a lot of people who got these government yes. jobs who smoke marijuana, who do, oh, baby, do they, these cokes and all this other up. stuff, and they just haven't gotten caught yet. Because I work but, in a government. I'm going to just shut up. You know, yes. Yes. <laughs> we don't want, we don't want I'm going to be quiet. I just think it's... I, I, but I'm that's, because, that's because coke <laughs> and cocaine, however you want to say it, that's more of a lighter skin drug. Yeah. Okay. It's, you know it's, what it's, they say? That's a wealthy drug. Um, I d- so... Go ahead, sis. I do want to talk about the other females who are also... Being not penalized. running in this Olympics, right? As and they well. look just like Shakira, and they look just like Shakira, you know and um, like? they're all black. You know, you know what they didn't like? Gag they is that they didn't like the chocolate thunder in the no. Okay, that's exactly they what that is. Y'all are flooding us. You black girls, black we need to take y'all Tokyo. back. Tokyo, yeah. So just as much as we cheer for Shakira Richardson, I want to cheer for Christine and Patrice. Uh, they won't be running in the Tokyo Is Olympics that the as well, ladies? um, because apparently they have too much testosterone, testosterone in their system, and that's a natural occurrence. Okay, by yeah. the way. exactly. Um, we want to shout out Brianna McNeil. Um, she has a five year ban. Yeah, uh, right mm-hmm. now. Um, she was reco- no wait, but talk about it because she was recovering from abortion. And you know the people who make the laws are white people who 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 are so against abortion, but don't want to adopt all those fifty thousand yeah. million fucking kids and foster kids. But mm-hmm. oh, let abortion ring three. Talk you know about we, we don't want to do want it. Want me to tell so you why? Ahead. Because when you don't, when you don't, when you when you have a lot of people who need things in one spot, you know what you get? Funding. Mm. Uh-huh. And foster parents get funding for mm-hmm. those children, yep. whether they are treated correctly yep. or, or not, not, whether they are yep. mentally, yes. emotionally, or physically yes. cared for. And since they don't the money. Yes. Yes. Let me talk, talk about, about it all I can talk day. about foster kids. I can, I can talk and about that shit connected. We were on a panel of another event, and when I heard that, it's so crazy because I always wanted to... Let me give you your flowers this time. <laughs> oh. The reason why I fucked with Brittany so much is I never... As a foster child, um, you know... I'm defying a lot of odds. People don't understand me. 100%. Mm-hmm. 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 In, 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 in foster care. Mm-hmm. It was the first time I ever met a pretty girl doing her motherfucking thing, adopting everything of who she's been. The first yeah. time in my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because a lot of them don't make it out that way. They no. don't. So when I met Brittany, I instantly connected to her because I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm trying my best. And here you are, another good sister. I finally, I've yeah. never been amongst, like, I don't think people understand for me to sit amongst another foster kid is very slim and none. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know why? Because those foster kids are already shut down yeah. in bad situations. They're, they're not, been, they're been not in the cool circles. Due to, due yeah. to they're not in the cool and circles and they're not they're really going to talk about out. it. Yeah. And they're not going to talk about it. You know, so when I met Brittany, I was so, I, like, I adored her so much because yeah. I was like, wow. Another one. Mm-hmm. I've never and that, been that, in this that's thri- situation. That, and 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 talking about my story drives me because I yeah. meet other you know yes, women. I we meet other more. other people who have been in my situation yeah. who have been able to thrive because, like yeah. you said, the it's, odds are stacked against stock, people who are in foster care. So it's crazy. But when you talked about that foster care system shit, it really blows me. Oh, right? Hey, when we money. talk about black and brown families, like it blows me how the government will take motherfucking black and brown kids out of their homes and pay another motherfucking family yeah. to take. Care of the kids. And they treat them like shit. Train. But not even that. You're gonna pay another family to take care of that child, but you couldn't help the family get that, together to help yeah, it. And I'm, yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah. if that child, if, if, if they were struggling to make ends meet with something, yeah. why not help, help them? Why give them yes. another bomb for you? Clear abuse, a beat. I got another, like, abuse, a beat, I got got another bomb for you, America. Woo. Benefits from the degradation of the black family. Of course. Oh, yeah. We know that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So it's kind of like, oh, yeah. Mm, not a 
it. Yeah. Let's put her in this home and give you a check for yeah. it. Mm-hmm. It's that deep for us to dismantle homes that we'll yeah. pay somebody else and to do so it. And it's so crazy because, you know, I went to foster care because my mom went to jail when I was 10 mm-hmm. uh, for six years. And it's so crazy because my mom, when, you know, as I got older and you know, my mom and me, we got super close over the years. Mm-hmm. And she said to me, she said, don't get in trouble because, you know, I can't get your kid. Mm. And I thought about it. Because my mom's a convicted felon. She could never get my kid. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Even though my mom's a great grandmother and my mom can fully take care of my grand- my daughter. I thought about it and it's always been like a heavy burden because I was like, I could never get in trouble because the closest person to me can't even get my kid because yeah. the system said that she's yeah. not deemed mm-hmm. valuable enough to get my kid, even though she would be the best interest That's for my, my kid. kid. That's America but we're going to pay you. somebody else to take care of your kid and take her from your mom because she made a mistake in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Child, I don't want to talk about the Child. prison system. My, my mama currently serving a fucking 18 year prison yeah. sentence. I think we're going to have to talk about the prison system yeah. now. It's, it's, that it's is, terrible. Yeah. It's horrible. Terrible. But, yeah. you know, yeah. to, 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 to go back into topic of these young black girls, yeah. like it seems like the Olympic is really like, it's like they're anti-black. Okay? Yeah. Not yeah. Even no, they, they, are. they can't handle us on the they can't, they Frosted can't. Flakes Man, box. You know. They can't. If we're all on the Frosted Flakes box with orange hair and long nails, then, you know, they don't get to now the narrative that that now the narrative yeah. that they think that they need to yeah. absolutely now and you don't need fact, to be cookie cutter and mm-hmm. the fact that right. they've taken so many black women in the same week off of the same Olympics yeah it's crazy I'm sorry give me something else because something doesn't make sense to me Some, it doesn't it add just up. looks a little ironic you know to what's me. so funny all of a sudden all these and issues people love the rules only when it benefits week. them you know yeah. what's so funny because um as of late it's been very much given in Asian hate. <laughs> mm-hmm. And now it's giving hate. attack on every like, black girl. Because they know why. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Okay. We're not even going to talk about that because they were so upset that a lot of black people didn't back that movement. But it's like in Asian hate. Y'all, 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 y'all don't like us. Y'all don't like us. Y'all only like when we come to your nail salon and pay five dollars for extra eyebrow. Yeah. Like y'all don't like it's, us. It's crazy. And, and it you know what? I, I hate. I hate the like divisiveness us. in all of it. Like we got bills that's being signed. We got a whole. Listen, the president signing all these bills. You got the vice president standing up talking about like America is not racist. Kamala, shut the hell shut up. Shut the fuck this up. This country is racist. What as are you fuck. talking and, about? And, and the systems in place are racist as fuck. That's why all these little black girls are not able to compete you got the black girls who are in these competitions they talking about you gotta ban the swim cap and i'm like why Baby, why, why? It, because you know why and they, they said though that? they want to ban it because it's not the uniform you see my eyebrow of motherfucking <laughs> they want to the ban it because <laughs> it's not their it's not their Side head that they use when nike Get started when nike here. started creating uh, swimwear and athletic wear for Islamic practicing Baby, women. What's up? Where you Don't at? Don't ever talk to me about banning a fucking Where swim Where you cap. at? Show up. Because guess what? There's a bunch of different representations for people of all colors. But mm-hmm. when you start attacking one specific one specific thing, Where's... I know what it's about. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Nike yeah. said, let's just do it. Okay. And they created a whole yeah. set of wear for, for, but for, Tokyo for our young Muslim us when they want to go ahead and they okay. want to go ahead. But shout out to Nike in general because they, they, they're they very said they're going to, they said they're going to back, they said we're Thank not dropping you, her. We've yeah. been, we've been her endorsement and sponsoring since 2019. Well, we're not drop dropping her. her. And, and her, so what? In her most vulnerable time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In her most yeah. Thank vulnerable you, fucking time. Shout out to Nike. They, they support, they support people. Send us some drip because yeah. we'll support you. Nope. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. Let them sponsor us. But on some real shit, like I just think, like when we talk about the boxes, they like to put black women in the boxes. There's certain things that we can't do. There's certain things that we we can't look like, and and it's very tiring as a black woman. And of course, I would never want to be nothing else but yeah. a fucking black woman. Never. Yeah. But sometimes I get tired about being put in this black. I get tired of being up here and being cheered for. And when I'm down here, I'm getting kicked on, mm-hmm. and people are cussing me out, talking about you should have mm-hmm. known better. And it's like, yeah. damn, are we not allowed to have flaws? Why well, should I, mean, I have yeah. known that I need to over? Form all and of my me, peers because I am a little brown. So, and let me just chime in right there as well. <laughs> so because ridiculous. It, I feel it's like, so frustrating. you know, a part of me wants to say it's fucked up, but we always got to work harder. We have to outwork them. But a part of me feels like I'm tired I'm of feeling tired. like Fuck I have to outwork you yes. to show you that I'm better than you, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Tell you I'm better is. because my skin is darker. One and minute. I'm going to say it to your face. Listen. I'm better because the universe falls on my side because my ancestors say so. Yeah. I'm better. Ooh, I like I'm that. Better. I'm sorry. Been told. I'm always the protected. sun appreciates me more than it does you. I'm sorry. 
And but I'm not it, sorry. No, yeah. And I'm tired yeah. of saying that. No lies have been told. I, com- I completely agree with you. I think the thing about about being brown, about having that melanin in your mm-hmm. system, because it's a very real privilege. Yeah. We talked about pre-privilege. How about melanin, melanin privilege? privilege. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so the unison. It's a privilege. It is. One, number one, the sun loves us. Loves okay, right? baby. Even when you're black, wear your sunscreen, but outside of that, the sun loves us. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Like, it's that golden brown color we all get. Mm-hmm. No matter if you super light skin or you all the way black, baby. Sis, just I have we a sidebar. Nice I, I, I burn in the sun, okay? Yeah. I was just about to say, I, I burn, but, That's but I, I still. That's why I wear your sunscreen. Wear <laughs> your sunscreen. We all need that SPF. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Protect that melanin still. Yes. But it's it's about the fact that there's a privilege here, too. You yeah. know what I mean? There's a, there's a special thing about us. You know yeah. how they have things that, like, you know, you remember like when you used to be moving or something, they would have yeah. that paper like candle with the hair? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because of whatever is inside is so precious, it's so yeah. perfect yes. that if you do the wrong thing, it's gonna break because it's special. Yeah. Fragile. That's what we got going on over yeah. here. Yeah. Have Absolutely. you noticed that when they cut us, we scar different? Oh. Certain creams we can't apply. Yes. Mm-hmm. Certain things yes. we cannot do. Certain foods we cannot eat. It's it's a real thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know like fibroids and endometriosis and different things like that are more prevalent on our end because our body is so precious. The shit that they be trying to feed us and have us consume, the body is giving no man. And no you know man. what? I'm not you that. A You're not yes. I'm yes. sorry because they don't like us to bask in this confidence, but I'm sorry. We're just as good Listen, as you. Yeah. Whenever you better. took my better. I'm sorry. Better. Whenever you better. took my pick to your surgery. And I tried not to come off like better, but it's I think the reality is that it's society given. knows the power that melanated folks <coughs> yeah. have, right? Yes. Because if they didn't know, they, <coughs> wouldn't, up, they wouldn't have brought it. So my yeah. thing is they know the power that we hold, which is why they try to suppress us. They try to down us. And what yeah. I want is for fucking people who look like us to stop fucking playing with us. Stop being and get scared on of us. Yeah. Stop, stop being trying scared to do of what Master said to do because guess what? Master don't give a fuck if you kiss his ass because he's still going to whoop your ass yeah, at, the at the end of the day. Yeah. He's still going to whoop your ass at the end of the day exactly. no matter how much. Exactly. That's why I'm gonna come after. So that's right. why when I'm seeing Stay all this dragging people. happen, I wanna let people know that Master don't fuck with you. So you mad yeah. because you think she embarrassed us. Yeah. She didn't do shit for show. Like she didn't do she's shit for human. show. She's human. She's motherfucking human. And I want to see her run. And I want to see her yeah. do well. Yes. And I even, if, yes. even if this is a block, the blessing yes. that God is gonna bestow on her life because she stood up there and said, "You know what? I know what I did was yeah. wrong." And stood in the Ooh, face of adversity. Oh, accountability! Stood there and said, "You know what? It's okay." Something that you guys I'm say. I'm gonna give we don't her have. some fucking grace today. Okay, yeah, you know what? So I'm, I'm handing her She's, her flowers and her grace yes, today yes, because yes. you know what? On top of that, Brittany, she really gives us. The representation that was not yet there. Yeah. Yes. And we deserve. She's yeah. not deserve. cookie cutter. She don't look how she posts yeah. to look. She embodies yeah. what little black girls everywhere really yeah. look like. Mm-hmm. Okay. You yeah. want to look and you want to. And they see what they look like. like. Yeah. You want the braids yeah. with the, 20, with the yes. of 27. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I want your connect line braids. I want you orange want the hair. Long, the long nails. You uh-huh. want the big hoop yeah. earrings. Yes. You want the long lashes. That's how we live our yeah. lives. And I want her to get everything done. That's the black culture. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing Everything wrong with that. I'm t- I, yeah. I, I, it's nothing wrong with that. I love it. And, love you know, it. and I just want to even even the black girls who are not as fast as Carrie, Shakiri Richardson or at, who or couldn't show up in that capacity of the Olympics. You are just as valuable. Yes. You are just yes. as valuable. Mm-hmm. Just as valuable. You are just, just as loved. Just to do that. Just yeah. to be you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Every black girl, you know. And there are no rules. There's no rules. And something that, you know, like I said, the, the, a lot of reason why this broke my heart, because I feel like, you know, black girls everywhere was looking like, damn, that could, that be, could be me. me. That and could to be watch me. it be snatched so quickly, it kind of can make somebody lose hope as if like, damn, like if I make one mistake, See, but they know what they was doing with me. That. They so knew. bad that they would take away my dream from mm-hmm. me because I'm not allowed to m- make a mistake. And it's so sad that black women are not allowed to be to we're make mistakes to or at this point, we're not even human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, and of course not. Um, I just want to shout out to all rules. the young black girls out there that look to Shakiri and look at, to her as a hero. I want you to know, still do that, motherfucker. Even if you make a mistake at the top, get to as far as you can yeah. go. And even if they try to cap you, baby, let your next sister get above it. Mm-hmm. And if you got to be the example, don't be scared to be the example because that was the other thing I had to say about Shakira. I said, it sucks that she has to be the example of what it looks like that we cannot make mistakes yeah. because mm-hmm. they will not allow us mm-hmm. to. Right. So the next little girl won't make that mistake. Right. Yeah. And thank you, Shakira, for being that example because we love you for, for that. All of us, we you love you like for us. that. Yeah. And I, and I we feel like love that's you the for thing that. I love the yeah. most. 
I didn't even know who she was. I saw a clip. I feel like it was probably I did too. Yeah. I did too. And I, and I say I remember I remember running track briefly in high school. Yeah. Shout out to Baloo. Um, uh-huh, but uh-huh. running track in high school for a little bit of time and feeling like, oh my God, this is the hardest shit. And I oh remember quitting the 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 team because I was like, yo, I don't want to take up space for somebody who yeah. really passionate and yeah. Yeah. kill this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or just the discipline right. that, the, and that, I didn't that have doing it. a sport I as a athletic, black girl. woman. Let me tell you how hard it is to be in a sport as a black woman. Yeah. I, first hard. of all, you have to have the parents who's able to support her grandparents and her family, family and her yeah, village yeah. and her mm-hmm. village that was able you know what I, and this grandma. is why I show up for my daughter like my daughter goes to dance mm-hmm. school she goes to gymnastics whatever she needs to do because I prayed I wish as a child I had a village to support something that would have benefited me yeah. in the future shout out to her village because without her village Shakiri would not be able to accomplish what she accomplished Period. and she has shout them out and to see her do that made me oh my god I, I love, love her so much grandma. like I, I love she her so much grandma mm-hmm. I said. because Little good. black girls, unfortunately, do not always have the support to be able to play a sport, yeah. to get the fees to play for equipment and uniforms and to travel and to play in championships. Because it costs. Because it, it costs. Does. And it's it expensive. It's and if so you don't expensive. come from a background that allows that, that, allows that baby, you're you short. You can't do it. So I just even thank her family for allowing us to see somebody like her in that representation. representation. And like I said, it really heal so much of my young black child and I've been going through that like all week y'all like y'all already know know, like just healing my younger child by seeing these things because had I Understood these things. I could have been a Shakira Richardson them while you were younger. And you know what yeah. I'm saying. So but she you know, is like, such okay a staple so because you are a Sade. And, facts, facts. And even in this space, as you yeah. go through healing yourself and you are seeing this thing, like we were talking about earlier, like before yeah. we started potting, like about age and yeah. what that's supposed to look yeah. like. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Like we didn't, yeah. we we didn't get, we didn't get to do that. But what, yeah. what, what, what's the blessing is that that these young girls that's coming up the, Ooh, that we didn't love get that. to see it, they, they do get to see it. that, and that they don't have to be grown yeah. ass women healing yeah. little ass girls. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were so broken. So yeah. I'm loving all of this because yeah, me yeah. all of this is about full circle moments. Yes. Yes. It's about healing. Yes. And so it's a blessing to sit here in this yeah. circle with all of us who are like, you know what? I'm committed to healing that younger yes. child. Yes. Yes. That younger child yes. that I didn't that nurture. Girl that I didn't nurture. Can I jump in real quick? Yeah. And this is this is going to be a message. Message. Okay. Mm-hmm. PSA. Be a message. If what they you say? are if you are a older black woman, stop bullying girls that's younger than you. Maybe yeah. because they could teach you something. Because the thing about mm. it is that a lot of older black women feel like I missed my chance. How dare you have enough gall and enough balls to go out there and get mm-hmm. what you need? Because when mm. I was your age, I didn't get an opportunity. Woo. So now I'm mm. mad at you. So they'll 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 bully you, they'll haze you, they'll be nasty to you, oh, they'll make your life we harder. Were talking about that. Because it's internalized jealousy. It's yes. like, oh my I god, I wish love. that I had the opportunity and you had the opportunity. I love how dare you, you have hard. the opportunity? I love the young girls that are coming up. I and, I, and let me they, tell you something. I have a level of confidence the that I, I wish that I, I, I had. I give them so much love, so much credit for all of them who is either entertainment is either an entrepreneur, entrepreneur yeah. or just want a doctor a lawyer yo I the young they is people so many different are different routes yeah. you old miserable bitches you need to stop it <laughs> all I'm gonna say you need is to stop it. try to enjoy your life so you're not mad at a young girl for a period no yeah. or, or yeah. sweetheart or sweetheart connect with a young girl she might could teach you a something no, no that's that's just a fact saying. and I've worked in the just old saying. girls school setting just saying. Yeah. and I've got to see so many of these young ladies blossom and Ooh. do the damn thing and I'm just like you damn. know what's so good and that's why I'm dedicated to servicing young black girls. Yes. How do I take my own implicit yes. bias mm-hmm. so that I can hear yes. and I can see and I yes. can feel these young black girls yeah. coming up so that I don't allow who I was and my upbringing to block who they are and try to Woo! box them in. Because Talk about literally it. Literally, the golden life for me is Facts. how do I honor the black women that have come before me? Yes. How do I honor the black women who stand next yes. to me? Yes. And how and do after. I serve the young black girls that are coming after me? Talk to about Brittany, that was so good. So yes. good. Who they that was are a gem. And, and like you said, that was a gem. That was such a gem, Brittany. I appreciate that so much because I think for sure that we have to do a better job. Mm-hmm. We have to do a better job showing up for those before us, after your sisters us, and are, next are, to us. Are not your competition. And it's not, they and are, are not. One, they are and not. And we have to learn to make this we a have thing. to embrace that it's collaboration it's over collaboration competition because if wanda bread and if these other you know <laughs> newman what is it newman's nature newman's or whatever and, and they thought that there was only a, a lane for one bread, be yeah. no bread. Yeah. yes if rose art didn't if, if crayola 
came and Rose Art didn't think that they would be good, they wouldn't exist. Exactly. And that's what I mean. It's we need to stop allowing for society to all think everybody that. Of it's, us. Not, it's not that room. This, if you out there, you us. got a lash company, start that lash company. I don't give a damn if it's a million hair businesses. It's a million people. And there is, but that's okay. Do do you that got your niche. Yeah. Be a doctor, be a lawyer. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it and don't lie because you think you see somebody over here doing it. There's a motherfucking niche and there's a market for, for every you. Speak so on it. And, get that. and also, I want to say, your tribe is your tribe. Your tribe mm-hmm. So your their tribe, tribe won't buy for them. Your tribe won't buy from right. you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I was just matter. about to say, some people are it subscribing and buying from you, not because your product is different, but because your they personality like you. is different. Yeah. They, they like love yes. you. And let them love on you. Don't count yourself out. Not Don't never. Count yourself to out. my sisters. To my Another sister. great show. Yes. I love y'all. I'm so happy. Yes. You know, the reason why this was such a smooth week, we talked all week in the group chat. It was so much oh, affirmation. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many yeah. vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Funny yeah. good vibes. And you know, something that, you know, I, it was so crazy. I was getting my nails in. I was talking to Nail Tech and I was talking about, you know, the podcast. She was, you know, we was talking, she was like, I love the show. First time meeting her. Love the show and all these things. And I was like, you know what I really appreciate is that we're showing people that it's okay to big up your sister. It's okay. It's okay to be be loving on your and sister. Guess what? Let okay. us pop our shit. And guess Ain't what? nobody out here in competition. It's okay. It's okay, okay to be loud. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's okay to be loud, <laughs> black girls. I just want to add that in. Yeah. Black <laughs> girls, we love you just as much as we love the silent Turn ones, your okay. ones, up. ones, the timid ones, the shy ones. We love all y'all. Ain't nobody exempt. Period. Period. TGSP. This is what sisterhood looks like. Real shit. Episode 72. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.